Um, let's turn off this text because we don't need that. I'm going to go over here and we're, I'm going to bring you guys to the wonderful map that I drew really shittily with paint. Right. Um, hey. so, so basically a um, cap of our story so far since um, anyone listening to this might actually be new. So in case this is true, um, basically we started in this region and actually I turned on my mouse capture specifically so I could do this. So, our party started right here in a town called Kokoro. I'll also note how none of these locations are named. I do have a completed map, but the problem is that the party has not visited basically any of these locations over here or down here. So, or actually right here for that matter, anyway. But that's the reason why I don't have the completed map pulled up. So, they started in a town called Kokoro, or city, more or less. Um, and then, in this world of Pokemon, that's kind of fucked up thanks to a backstory <laughs> of a particular character who is not actually currently here. We'll introduce that character <clears throat> later. She will be here in about half an hour and a half. Um, uh, more like an hour at this point. Hour 15. But, um, so she owns a brothel located a little bit south of the city, <laughs> still within the plains. Um, the... Also, this brothel is um, known to basically buy slaves and then basically free them. So they're just kind of their own little f free slaves and whatnot and that whole campaign and shit. So three of our characters, um, a Totodile, Torchic, and... God damn it. And a Bagon, that's the other one. Oh, yeah. um, were being sold as a as a set, in which they were purchased at a price of I think a hundred thousand or something, something price really of high. Insert large number of money, and <laughs> insert large number of money here, and then because um, um, because Logan actually wasn't here the first session, he was just kind of there, so <laughs> he was able to use him to my plot devices, and he got kidnapped by some slavers actually they're like you know what we know what she does fuck this she we're taking these if you so, aren't going to use them then we will basically so um kona who was an eevee at the time along with the three slaves got captured um then her husband darren along with the remaining party which is al our scyther oh. um ball toy um, and a Ryolu. Is that it? Oh yeah, that's it, because there are four captured and there's the three of you plus Darren. Paid, yep. then paid another large lump sum of cash in order to basically free them. Um, and then just a whole battle ensued, um, that consisted of lots of quick attacks. <laughs> Um, and then a slowpoke, an enemy slowpoke who could, just could not stop cussing because he could only move one square per turn. And it was a very sad slowpoke. Poor guy. We although it, although <laughs> it, got the, it got a great joy when Scyther decided to actually attack it. In which at that point it had plus five attack stages and plus five defense stages. Oh and, yeah, I and, almost got wrecked. No, I think you... I'm pretty sure you got wrecked. I'm not sure though. But it did do a lot of damage, which made Slowpoke happy. It also made the DM kind of happy, too. <laughs> but that's beside the point. Um, so then, after that, everyone just kind of um, headed back and stuff. And um, Can I get a copy? Okay. Um, the thing is about the character sheet, Robert, is that it's not actually something you can like, enter in values for. Like, I actually tried to... I know. Don't I care. Gonna keep a text sheet. All right, you do that. Um, I will get you that text item though. Thanks. Um, I'll move over here, and then I'll try to discuss story while trying to do other things. All right. Um, do that. Sorry. All right. Whenever you need it. That's fine. Um, Attempting to be subtle and not, you know, say things over this stream and do no, it's fine. Waste Joel, time and, Joel, and keep I talking about my failure to have a character sheet, etc, etc, <laughs> and yeah, specifically waste time on the stream and, and keep talking about irrelevant things. Eh, it's just kind of whatever, yeah, I'm just it, doing... It would just be terrible for her to just sit here and waste time, you know, on the stream. I know, right? 
I mean, it's just <coughs> who would do that? Just sit there and go waste yeah, time. Yeah, those people. Just on the stream. I would, I would, I would punch those people in the face. How dare those people? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so um, in the end, everyone got rescued, um, pretty much, and then they went f basically, and then Torchic was told, and then. Um, therefore told other people in the party that hey we need to get out of here so everyone got out of there and then headed this way oh yeah and the brothel got burned down but that's you know just little details wait a minute I by a mysterious adversary um, by someone in this person's backstory actually I'm probably gonna let you guys go through a little bit of backstory if you guys want but f um, and you can just like insert it wherever in the story but from there, they basically head this way where they have to deal with the serial killer. Um, this is actually where they currently are. They're in Sorrent Resort. They were able to capture the serial killer. Um, they have not actually dealt with that situation yet, so we will deal with that once we get, I think, a, well, when we get more people or when we decide we're fed up with waiting for slow pokes and that we need to get this started and stop slacking off. God damn it. <laughs> Oh, by the way, I found the most interesting thing in my bag. A bag beans. of beans in my yes. bag. So I have the beans yes. with me right now. So if need be, I will go to them. video chat and I will present these beans to the stream in order to bean somebody. <laughs> Whoa. Anyway, so here. I guess we can try to go through some backstory stuff, I guess. So I'm going to start with Al. Let's see. Well, it all started... When I was born, in this form specifically, I started out as a Pikachu and meandered off into a desert that was probably a bad idea. Specifically this desert right here that I'm circling my mouse around. Yeah, that one. And then I ran into a set of ruins while I was out trying to find someone, and then I was a Scyther. And that made everything really difficult <laughs> since everyone knew me as a Pikachu. And since then, let's see. Much about it. I've got a little bit more of a thing for gambling that I'd like to admit. And let's see. Yeah. I don't think that we actually have specific titles in the um, police force thingy yet, do we? Um, that has, it hasn't been established. You'd have to go to Kokoro to see if it's even done to begin with. Oh, uh, okay, yeah. We were supposed to get hats. Where are my hats? We nonetheless carry appropriate authority. Yeah. Moving this over here. Don't mind me and my ugly face. Opinion. Uh, use this picture. Alright, um, I don't know if you guys can see it in, in Skype yet, but I have updated my profile picture. Has to be most appropriate. DM based god. So my profile pic is now Arceus. If you guys want to. I was actually thinking, like, if I'm going to leave your names, like, if you guys would want to change your profile pictures to what Pokemon you are. But that, that's up to you guys. It's actually pretty easy to switch between profile pictures, but that's something if you guys want to do it. You don't have to if you don't want to. Mm. That'd be essentially the first time I've changed profile picture in... <laughs> Let's see. When did I make that thing? Junior year of high school? Wow. Yeah. What is that? Out of Probably curiosity. A, that is a fractal flame and a very re low resolution version of it. Oh, okay. But uh, it's it was it was pretty sweet at full resolution and it looks like basically nothing <laughs> as a Skype icon. So I was like, is that a constellation or what? <laughs> Alright, yes, um that makes sense. Let's see. Torchic, I know you don't have much backstory, but if you would like to recap anything in particular, or just tell them about your character. Well, essentially, or... I uh, I one day found myself in slavery with no memory of who I was or where I had come from, and uh, I was a, a less than a foot tall and approximately in the shape of a fiery chicken. And since then, I was rescued by some nice people, and I've pretty much stuck along with them since. And uh, just the other day, I evolved whilst eating dinner in a nice restaurant. <laughs> that was fun. 
Yeah, it's because we awkwardly found out that you had actually <laughs> exceeded the level cap for the minimum requirement of com of becoming a combustion, which I define as the level requirement to be your vault form. So you just, you know, we just kind of let you awkwardly evolve and stuff. <laughs> no big deal. Yep. Um, Boltoy, anything you'd like to say about stuff, backstory? Um, Let's see, did it work? Yes, you are now a Scyther. Woo! I could start from the beginning, but it would involve many stories that don't appear to be relevant to the people assembled here. So I will start with, I have been a servant in society for um, long periods of time, longer than the, I believe, the lifespan of, of many of the assembled. Um, I was then left to uh, guard a rather important uh, place of place of re residence for uh, a yeah, very important object, but um, found I was no longer needed after the appointed amount of time. So I have joined a group of uh, seeming servants of the greater good and uh, am executing orders as normal. Uh, thus far, there have been combats with other civilians for seemingly no reason, which I would be interested in deciphering the origin of, but it is not yet my place. And thus I will continue to uh, continue to serve. Visit the Cottontail Bordello. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Acquire currency, visit Bordello. Which has been burned down for a very long time, by the way. It's been, yeah. it's probably been, been now, like, months? It's probably been at least a month since the thing's been burned down, for fuck's sake. But I forgot to pick up my dry cleaning. <laughs> what dry cleaning? You're a scyther. Yeah. It's been there for a while. <laughs> it's probably been there for at least two or three since that you probably dropped off your dry cleaning when you went on your little adventure and came back as a scyther. So you probably got, what, Pikachu size clothing? Yeah. <laughs> it is spiffy. Too, but I admit, man. I would be afraid that I'm may be irreparably damaged in the process of returning to the previous town, uh, there may be uh, hostile creatures on the way that will attack me and prevent me from transporting the dry cleaning, unfortunately. If you'd like to accompany me and perhaps protect my form while attempting to, you know, return with the dry cleaning, cleaning that would be possible. Hmm. Maybe later, but I saw a certain place that looked a little, uh... That looked like a fun place to visit after all of these incidents. I guess that's in our impromptu of saying impromptu way of saying that we are now beginning. <laughs> 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 Alright, so yeah, you guys go ahead. I'm gonna get something ready that I've been teasing a little bit. Alright, um uh, A little bit, bro? A lot of bit. <laughs> Sorry. One iota bit of time. Alright. <laughs> Alright, so I got the city music rolling, everything's good and great and stuff and Thanks. stuff. So go ahead, I guess let's begin and stuff. Alright, let's see. Where did we leave off? Oh, you uh, guys are currently at the Pokemon Center with Michaela, which. I guess to explain... Uh, Quote-unquote Michaela. <laughs> Quote-unquote Michaela, which, um, since none of you were here, basically during the um, story... Basically the summary of the serial killer story arc, or the conditioner killer story arc, as I like to call it. <laughs> started with Kona getting kidnapped. Kona being a... Well, who is now a Glaceon. Shiny, by the way. We rolled for Shiny. This EV ended up being Shiny. What the fuck, motherfucker. Okay. Moving on from that point. Oh yeah, uh, thinking of shiny, thinking of charisma. Did we update how to do the thing? Um, I will live patch it when more people are here. Okay. But yeah, I have I have plans. Team. Plans and schemes and schemes of plans. Yep. All right. Uh, that one map. This one. Okay. So basically, um, they had heard of a serial killing, so they began to investigate. They used the Pokemon hospital more or less because Pokemon Center and then there's a bunch of stuff above residency as well as more serious treatment since this is a bigger city um, anyway um, so they began investigating with um, a nurse who was working by named Linden um, and then they also had to get assistance from 
a person named a uh, girl named Michaela from the Mystic Translation Center because they are Pokemon and Pokemon can't actually communicate with humans unless the humans themselves are mystics and can and have the ability called Zupathy. Zupathy is an ability that allows a trainer to talk to Pokemon and for I guess as something since you guys probably do not know um, this is based off of Pokemon Tabletop Adventures. Um, if you look it up, I'm sure you will find plenty of books on it. I'm, I'll actually pull up oh, a PDF uh, for everybody. Taft wants to join in, but you have to invite him back onto the chat. He said something in the uh, Twitch chat thing. Yeah, he's using a, a different name, different Skype account. Uh, oh, it looks the same. Is it? Yeah, this uh, one just doesn't have the live. Oh, no, that one looks the same. Good chat. All right. Um, um, all right. So, one second. Got to get more people into the Skype call. Um. Oh dear. I'm, I'm managing so many things. <laughs> so right many things. So many things. Right oh. Now. Huh. Maybe I should change my Skype icon now that everyone else has. <laughs> Perhaps we could change No, yeah, he's, he's using a new Skype, he said. Alright, I'm adding him as a contact. And then I will add him to the group call as well. Peoples. Alright. Which, yeah. Um, so I have him added as a contact, I guess, so... Alright, oh. so... Maybe what we could do is change all of our uh, usernames to the Pokemon's names, and that <laughs> way we won't need to have the floaty thingies. Because, I mean, you can change usernames pretty quick. Yeah, that's up to you guys. If you want to do that, it'll just make it... Or we'll change them to character names. Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah, I don't know. Alright, so I can remove Al. I don't know if it'll be weird. Oh, God damn it! Oh, yeah, okay. Um, well, I added him as a contact on Skype, I don't know, what, whatever, things, things are things. I added him to the thing, so whatever happens, happens. <laughs> um, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah, um, oh, yeah, I was going to pull up books, um, a PDF file for people to look at of the system that we've had to learn. Um, I'm just going to pull up the player's handbook. Um, close this, open that, and change from Skype to monitor capture while removing the text. And this is the one of the three PDFs that I have. Um, basically, just just a bunch of things about stuff. Um, Ace trainer, beater, capture specialist, coordinator, martial artist, mystic, psychic, ranger, researcher. Those are all the classes you can take. Each class has a set of advanced classes. Um, as trainers, you, um, you start as a level zero trainer, which, um, all your stats are set to six, um, your stats being, um, for those of you who haven't played D&D, strength, constitution, dexterity, intelligence, wisdom, and charisma. All of them start at six, you get 28 points to invest, you don't actually roll for stats, um, which can, which is nice, and yet, at the same time, might not be so nice, it depends on how lucky you are at rolling stats. But you start at 6, you get 28 points to spend, you spend those, and then you become a level 1 trainer, basically. And then you can start taking classes and features and whatnot. And there's just a lot to this game, and if someone knows what they're doing, it could definitely be a lot of fun. However, not all of the stuff applies, because um, all of our characters in this campaign are Pokemon. So, I haven't actually had to worry about a good chunk of the stuff, because everyone's a Pokemon. Broken one. Um, I am, because they are Pokemon, I'm letting them take some, um, some human classes if they want. Oops, that's not, you guys are <laughs> Which one of us have actually bothered to do? I think yeah, I'm I a think. chaser, actually. <laughs> ah, I like that picture. <laughs> God damn it, Robert. It is sufficient representation. 
<laughs> oh, oh, okay. I, I saw that as completely something else. I thought it was like a ball toy stuck in like a big chunk of mud. But I now see that it's just a ball toys features drawn on a brown background of its Minimalism. Color. Good pick. Minimalism! Yep. Ooh, I should find my minimalist folder and pull my, uh... I could send those files around if you guys wanted. <laughs> that is the exact place I downloaded this from. <laughs> Anyways. I could probably... Let's see. Does anyone know exactly the resolution that uh, Skype icons are? Is it 50 by 50 or 64 by 64 or something? Uh... uh. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I would assume it shrinks the... Yeah, you can resize down, it to whatever. I, I, yeah. Let's see if I can find that then. Ninety six by ninety six. Um anyway, books and stuff. So they went out adventuring, they visited old victims of the serial killer, um, tried to learn information. Um, whilst they were doing that, Kona got kidnapped because um, I basically left a pattern of Pokemon. Actually, I still have that pattern right now. So let me pull it um, right here. Um, Pichu, Persian, Jolteon, Jigglypuff, Ninetales, Mighty Anna, Bayleaf, Delcaddy, um, to name the Pokemon that ended up missing and later dead. Um, from there, they were kind of working on a timer to find Kona. Um, they asked a bunch of shopkeepers in the general area. Um, they were able to kind of get a trail um, and just kind of look around. Um, although it went cold, the very next day, though, um, there was a beach house that was um, abandoned and yet not abandoned at the same time. Um, after investigating, as it turns out, Lyndon, who had been quote-unquote helping them from the beginning, was actually found there, and Kona was found in a bathtub, still breathing, but, you know, not doing so well. Um, they then fought Lyndon and her three Pokemon, um, in which they reigned victorious with the help of Michaela, who was later to re later revealed to be Latias, actually. <laughs> you know, no big deal. You know, no big deal, just a legendary Pokemon. <coughs> Usual. <laughs> um, then the party collected Kona, along with the various Pokemon and Linden, brought them back to the Pokemon Center, and that's about pretty much where we left off. Also, Ryolu had an Aura-gasm, A-U-R-A-gasm. <laughs> Um, in which the Ryalu was then able to evolve into a Lucario. Um, and then actually every time Ry Ryalu tried to do an aura check on Michaela, he was just completely blinded by just bright aura and he just could not blinded even see. Blinded by the light. I can't see. 